In this presentation we're going to look at accounts payable as an expense. So we have our accounts payable account here which is a liability on the balance sheet and then the expense account here which is part of net income on the income statement. So exactly what is accounts payable? Well here's an example. For example we have a property tax for 20x1 that will be paid in 20x2. Other examples could be utilities, rents, interest on borrowed funds, and so on. So just looking at this time frame here, which I allotted um, a March through October period, monthly period here, and we've had some goods or services that we've used. We use these. We consume these goods or services here. And just for example, I used $600 per month for those services. So we have an accounts payable, which is an incurred expense, expense that we've already used here or incurred. The expenses are incurred but not yet paid in cash. We didn't pay any cash for these services that we used. So after we've used the services and sometime afterwards, we pay for them. We use cash to pay for them. In this example, I just used $5,000. So what we have to do with this accounts payable is allocated to the expense. So let's just look how we do that here. So let's say we've used or consumed a, a service here at $600 per month. So we credit or we increase accounts payable by that $600 a month and then the corresponding debit entry would be to the expense here. We debit expense increase it by $600 a month. Now remember that this expense flows out of the net income or the income statement and gets close to retained earnings which is part of stockholders equity on the balance sheet. So now after we've uh, used these goods and services some time afterwards we have pay for them. So this would be the entries here. So at, by paying for them we debit or decrease the accounts payable. In this case I used a $5,000 amount. And then the corresponding entry would be here to credit $5,000 or reduce our cash account by $5,000. Remember that cash is an analysis on the balance sheet. Just, so just an overview of what we've done here. We've uh, used or consumed some goods or services. So we've credited our accounts or increased our accounts payable. And the corresponding debit entry would be to increase, recognize them as expense or increase the expenses by the corresponding month, amount here. And then later after we've use the goods or services or consume them, then we pay for them. So we decrease the accounts payable account by that amount and then credit or reduce cash by that amount. So that's just an overview of accounts payable and how we recognize them as expenses.